Welcome back to the channel. In today's DIY drywall tips and tricks video, I'm going to show you how to repair holes around electrical boxes caused from miscuts during drywall installation. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to skim coat a drywall patch. I'm using an all-purpose joint compound and a piece of cardboard so I can lay down the outlet patch on it and apply the joint compound to the back of the patch. You just want to go back and forth until you get about an eighth of an inch of joint compound on the whole back. Then just peel it up. and stick it right around the outlet. Make sure it covers the holes on both sides. Now you want to hold it in place and just take your six inch taping knife and go around the perimeter squeezing out the joint compound. Now you just want to go lightly over it. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Paul and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 20 years. If you're looking to step up your drywall, texturing, or painting game, be sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up with all my latest videos. Keep in mind, this is the first coat, so it doesn't have to be pretty. You just want to skim it pretty tight. Okay, so we've let it dry about two and a half hours, and it's ready to get remodded. So first, I'm going to go ahead and scrape around it. And what we're going to need to do is mud. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and scrape it. Not a lot of spots that I have to scrape. Time for the second coat of all-purpose joint compound. Mud on the side, concentrated. Here's the third and final coat. We haven't done any sanding whatsoever. On this third and final coat, I'll be using my 12 inch drywall taping knife to apply the all purpose joint compound. Thank you. 
I'm going to go ahead and skim the rest of this wall out. I'm going to treat it like it's just a regular wall, and that's what I would normally do if I had this many repairs on a wall. I'd go ahead and skim it out either for a smooth finish or for retexturing. I'll leave a link in the YouTube card above with a playlist of all skim coating videos, including a video called What is Skim Coating? Okay, so here's the wall patch I did around the electrical box during drywall installation. I used the straight flex wall patch and did three coats of joint compound and then I skimmed out the demonstration wall. And now it's ready for sanding. All right, time to sand the drywall repairs. Whenever you're sanding drywall, wear a two strap respirator mask. Don't get the cheap paper mask with one strap, get the two straps. All right, I'm using a sanding sponge, 150 grit. Just going back and forth, anything I see. Then you wanna feel it, cause you can feel stuff that you can't see. So uh, there's a spot, gonna hit that. The skim coat really smooths out the wall, so it's not gonna take a lot of sanding. So uh, there it is ready for primer and paint. Let me know in the comment section what kind of drywall repair you're working on or if you have a video request for me. And if you're looking to step up your drywall texturing or painting game, be sure to hit that round icon in the middle of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. And if you have a friend that's a DIYer, be sure to share this video with them on Facebook or Twitter. Check out one of these videos down below.